שבת שלום everyone, שבת פרשת כי תבוא ואין חומש דברים. We're moving over from one section of Moshe Rabbeinu's speech to Bnei Israel to another section. First section was תוכחה, uh, then the second section was מצוות, a lot of מצוות, and in this week's parasha we finished off the מצוות and starting off with the Brit, the covenant between Am Yisrael and Ribbono Shel Olam. The beginning of the parasha, the last two מצוות, Uh, of the section of the mitzvot, but they already belong to the covenant, and they've got to do with uh, the connection between the mitzvot and the covenant, a clear uh, connection. Two mitzvot, that's what's very unique about them, is that beyond saying a bracha, that there are many mitzvot that we have brachot, not in all of them, but many mitzvot that we have brachot, here beyond that, there's another statement the person committing the mitzvah has to do. In mikra bikurim, when a person rings uh, bikurim, he has to say, Uh, he starts, he's got what's called Mikra Bikurim, and he starts going through the beginning of Jewish history. Same psukim that we nowadays also say during the Agadah of Pesach. Originally, they come from the situation of a person, a farmer in Eretz Israel. He's now bringing his first produce to Bet HaMikdash, and when he's bringing the produce, he's basically saying, bringing a rundown. of the beginning of Jewish history, of going to Egypt, the hard time in Egypt, crying out to God, God listening to us, taking us out of Egypt, and bringing us to Eretz Israel. And after a person has mentioned that, you've brought us to Eretz Israel, Eretz Zavat Chalav Udvash, says, and now I'm bringing the first fruits to you, places it in front of God, he bows down, and the Torah says, V'samachta b'kol atov asher natan lecha Adonai elecha. Be happy with what you have. But maybe this Jew, he's got some fruit, but he's got other problems in life, other things that aren't working out. It could be. But first of all, notice all the good that you've got. You woke up in the morning. Certain aspects of you are healthy. Sort of. First of all, start off by saying moderni. First of all, say thank you. That's the beginning. God took care of you. God gave you something. Say thank you. You've got a spouse. Spouse. takes care of you, sees to you, thinks about you, is caring about you, say thank you. Wait, but maybe the other things you think, leave the things that aren't perfect alone in the meantime. Say thank you for what's proper. That's the basic thing of a Jew. First of all, modeh. Modeh, and the first words a Jew says, says in the morning is modeh. That has to be our basic feeling towards our relationships also. First of all, say thank you for what you've got there. And you've got a lot. You've got a spouse, someone who's prepared to live with you. Not everyone would be willing to do that. Someone who cares of you, someone who takes care I don't know, of, of t- making sure there's an income or making sure of, of housekeeping or taking care of the kids or thinking about you or celebrating for you. There are many things to say thank you about them. There could also be things that you feel that need to be improved, need to change, need to become better. But if a person is the whole time thinking of what has to change, naturally that's what happens often. We... go through life, and slowly, slowly we, 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 we go forward, we, we achieve more things, and the whole time we see what still has to be achieved, what still has to be achieved, it's very important in life, not to say, ah, everything's fine, everything's good, no, the things that have to move forward, but before that, say thank you, especially for things that you receive from, other, from God, from other people, very, very important, that's Mikra Bikurim, after that the Torah goes on to Biur Masrot, Biur Masrot, is a person who's given out the different things he has to give. Truma to the Kohen, Ma'asir Rishon to the Levi, Ma'asir Sheni, he took to Jerusalem, or if it's a year of Ma'asir Ani, gave it out to the poor people, and once every three years, a person says, I've given everything out. I've done everything that I had to do. In fact, the statement that he says is, ואמרת לפני אדוני אליך, ביארתי הקודש מן הבית, וגם נתתיו ללוי ולגר, ליתום ולאלמנה, ככל מצוותיך אשר צוויתני, לא עברתי ממצוותיך ולא שכחתי. הפוסטון אומר, I've done everything I had to do. And now what? Now, once you know you've done everything you had to do, then you can go on and say, ישקיפה ממעון קודשך מן השמיים, God, look upon us, וברך את עמך את ישראל ואת האדמה אשר נתת לנו, כאשר נשבעת לאבותינו ארץ זבת חלב ודבש. Because now that I've done everything I need to do, I'm asking you to look upon us 
and bless us and the land the way you vowed to us. Wait, but if you made a vow to take care of us, what's it going to do with the I've done my part? Of no, no, no. If you want to ask someone else to do something for you, even if they commit to do that, your focus has to first of all be on that that you fulfill in everything you have to fulfill. Okay, there are two kinds of people. The people that want to make sure that everyone's giving them what they need to receive. And they're very focused on what they need to receive and making sure that everyone else around them is doing what they should be doing. And the people that think, what do I need to be doing? What's my shame? Is how do I, not my shame, what I'm receiving? What's my shame, what I'm doing? Okay, my part in the world is what I'm doing, not what I'm receiving. That's what I've got in, my, in the world, is what I do. So I make sure the whole time that I'm doing what I need to do. And if I'm, if I'm living with my spouse, I'm not thinking about what do I need to be receiving. No, what should I be doing? First of all, the moment you switch around to looking at things that way, it already changes everything. Your whole perspective of everything is totally different. Okay, you're the whole time doing and giving and creating, everything like that. And second of all, then also probably you'll also receive, and, you're, and when you receive, you'll be happy about it. But the main thing is, first of all, the focus is on, I'm doing what I have to be doing. So, Be'ezrat Hashem, we'll all make sure that we focus on being happy with what we receive, and focus on what we have to be doing. Be'ezrat Hashem, Shalom, Shabbat Shalom.